Hey guys, I wanted to uh, do another video. This is how I always start my intros, it's really weird, but um, I want to do a video today about how to set up Heroic Games Launcher, as it's another another games launcher that you can use on Linux that's really good for Epic Games um, and GOG. Uh, some people do use this as a like their main game launcher for like Wine and Proton. Uh, I don't, I always use bottles, and some people use Lutris, that's another really good one that I've made a video on before, uh, but in today's video I want to teach you guys how to use Heroic Games Launcher, um, if there's any of you guys out there that are like setting up Linux and you've heard of Heroic Games and you've installed it but you're a bit confused of you know, how Heroic Games actually like works, um, this is uh, going to show you guys in today's video how to use it. So, the first thing is always, um, you want to go to your GNOME software store, or your Discover store, or even the terminal if you want to, to grab Heroic Games. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing it. Uh, for me though, we're going to go to Hero the GNOME software store, and we're just going to you know, search for Heroic Games, and as you can see here, here it is, and you want to select the Flatpak version, which is Flathub, because it's coming from the Flathub repository. Now you can get the beta version as well if you want to, you know, test out some of the new features. Um, this actually won't be here. You'll have to like figure out how to add this uh, manually. It's actually pretty easy to do. Um, there is um, some some tutorials out there that teach you how to add the beta repository, but that's not uh, <laughs> not today's video. Today's video is how to install Heroic Games. So um, yeah, you just want to get up the the FlatHub repository one slash Flatpak, and you know. It's already open for me on my other monitor because I was testing some things. Um, but yeah, as we can see here, uh, it's not going to come up like this when you first launch a games launcher. You're actually going to be signed out of your Epic Games account or GOG, whichever one you're like you want to sign into, because um, that will come up. And uh, you basically, yeah, you just want to sign in with your Epic Games account or come up with like another window, etc. You sign in. Um, and then basically your library of Epic Games in GOG will be uh, here in your library section. Um, there's a little refresh library up here. So if it doesn't appear, like your games don't appear, you can click the little refresh button and it should grab your games in your library. Now, uh, one of the great things about um, Heroic Games Launcher is that um, it's not just like you, know, you grab your games and you're able to play them, uh, but it also has integrated the Epic Games Store into the app. So you don't have to like go to your browser and then go to the Epic Store to like um, sign into your account and then buy a game and then go back to our games. Um, it's all built into the app. So as you can see here, um, you can just scroll through the Epic uh, game store and, and buy things um, look at I always go on here to look at free games because um, you know I don't this is not my main way of buying games I always buy games mostly on Steam um, but you can see here you like the free game section and you can download any of these um, basically um, you know some of these games will not work like Fortnite that's not gonna work uh, Valorant that's not gonna work um, yeah but you can grab something like a League of Legends for example if you wanted to play because I actually made a video um, a couple days ago about how to play League of Legends on Linux through bottles um, you could do it on here as well um, it actually wouldn't it would actually probably be easier to play League of Legends on the heroic games launcher than to do it on bottles honestly so if you guys want to play League of Legends on here you, you basically can you just have to grab the um, the lol version of wine G and then basically um, you just select wine ge lol and then you, you should be able to play league of legends but as you can see here um like i was saying you can you know choose anything that you want to play and then afterwards after you buy the game um, you can just refresh and it should uh, appear on your library section now the next thing that we can go into is settings uh you know this is where you'll change things uh your installation path um, you know, you'll look at like enabling uh, Discord risk presence, which doesn't really work. I think you may need a Flatpak version of Discord to make that work. Um, it has worked before, but I don't know how specifically, like just, I don't know how Discord risk presence works uh, with Discord. It, it uh, mostly never works for me. Uh, but you can see here, you know, you, you can change like the icon that's like down here. Uh, for me, it's just three dots at the moment because I'm like doing something specifically in the app. You know, there's some other things like automatically update games. Um, and that's about it really for settings. You can go to uh, game defaults as well. Um, this is where uh, 
you know, before you play any, like let's say any multiplayer games that use easy anti-cheat or battle eye, you want to grab the run times because that's a necessity if you want to play those multiplayer games. So you want to, um, you know, click this um, so that it's enabled and then i'm pretty sure it should fetch it and uh download it, install it. it's actually probably already downloaded in the app uh, but yeah you just enable that and then you should be good to go with any like easy anti cheat or battle eye multiplayer games and the next thing as well we can go to the advanced section is the eos overlay which is the just the epic games overlay that comes up when you want to like um, you're in a game or whatever and you want to look at the overlay of epic games um, this is where you would install it. So for me, it's already um, installed. I've got the latest version as well. And this is where you can also um, clear your heroic cache or reset heroic if you're having like some major, I don't know, like bug or something that's like, I don't know, like the UI is being weird. Um, then this is where you could do it. Um, now, of course, you got the, your download section. So for me, I downloaded GTA 5. Um, I did download Fall Guys, but I, um, I uninstalled it because I don't play that game. Uh, but this is what I was, I was going to test today was GTA 5 to see if that would work, which I'm pretty sure I played GTA 5 on Heroic Games Launcher uh, like 10 months ago and it worked fine. Um, so it should, should uh, work. I haven't tested it, but we'll see. Um, the next thing, you know, we can go into is the wine manager. So you got your Wine GE and your Proton GE. I suggest that you grab the latest Wine GE build. Um, now, for some reason, uh, this is not correct. The Proton 810 should be above the 89, but for some reason, it's right below, even though this is the latest one that you need to grab. So grab the latest uh, Wine GE either by doing uh, Wine GE latest. You can click download on there and it'll just fetch the latest one, with whatever the latest one is, um, or you you can um, grab like I do where I just select it manually uh, just in case you know something like this happens um, so I've selected the Wine GE Proton 810 version um, and that's about it I would suggest that you use the Wine GE versions before you start using the Proton GE ones um, I would use the Proton GE ones as a last resort as Proton GE is only made for Steam um, you can use it for sure and it probably will work uh, but you may go into like slight issues where things may not work properly um, and this is where you know like i was saying before you can grab the um wine the latest uh league of legends wine ge build so if you want to play league of legends on here you can um and and yeah that's like that's basically it for the wine manager section and this is where you know you go to like manage uh, accounts so for me i've connected my epic games account and then you can also log into your gog account if you have any games on there um and you can log out switch your app language all that stuff and the next one is like accessibility so you know you can like zoom in and out uh you know if you want to make it uh more zoomed in let's say maybe you have really bad eyesight then yeah you can you can zoom in you can change the fonts um and you can select your theme as well so the one game that i was going to test uh was uh grand theft auto 5 and as you can see here if we go to settings on grand theft auto 5 we've got the wine ge proton 810 selected um and then i've got the auto install update auto install update for the um, translation apis um and then we don't need easy anti-cheat runtime or battle light anti-cheat runtime enabled um so when you when you try a game uh, like a multiplayer game, you want to make sure that these are selected by going into settings into the game um, just so that it actually, you know, works. So, you can click play here and we'll see if it actually actually launches. As you can see here, it's launching the Rockstar launcher. I mean, the Rockstar launcher's gone uh, really good in the past couple of months. Uh, before, it was like you needed a specific version of the Rockstar game launcher, but you can grab like the latest Rockstar launcher now and it, it basically works fine. Unless, I don't know, maybe Rockstar like updates the client and then it breaks and then Valve has to like go out of their way again and, and fix the launcher. And as you can see here, it is launching. Just like that. And I'm pretty sure the online mode should should work. I haven't tested the online mode. Um, it does sign me into my Rockstar account, so that basically means like I can I can play with like my friends if they own GTA 5 as well. There we go. We can go to story mode. Now if I've already completed the story, I think. I'm pretty sure I completed it like a year ago. Um, great story. Really, really good.
as we can see here with uh you know michael <laughs> uh, very nice and uh there we go that's basically the end of the video with uh you know setting up parole at games launcher and uh yeah that's basically the end of the video so if you guys you know if you want to give it a like you totally can um, you know, thank you guys for, uh, 250 subs as well. I think we're at, like, 265 now. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, I don't really care about, um, subs that much. Uh, but if you want to, you can, um, subscribe. I will continue to create more Linux content, uh, when, when things come, like, available, when they come out. I'll probably try and do, like, more benchmark videos. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.